Madam President, I know most members on the floor remember a song of about 25 years ago called The Night the Lights Went Out in Georgia. Well, on Tuesday of this week, a beacon of light in journalism did go out in Georgia when Bill Shipp, a gifted political writer, announced his retirement after 50 years of reporting in the South. Bill Shipp's a remarkable character. You know, it's said that all of us are replaceable. I'm not really sure Bill Shipp is replaceable. He began his writing in Georgia as a political columnist for the Atlanta Constitution. Starting in the late 50s, he covered the late Ivan Allen and the late Dr. Martin Luther King and the governors and the politicians of that era from George Wallace to Lester Maddox to Jimmy Carter to Carl Sanders. He wrote about the transition of the Old South to the New South. And in Washington, he covered the Civil Rights Act in the middle and late 70s. He was a writer whose perception was keen, whose wit was sharp, and whose pen was even sharper. Now, for 32 of his 50 years, I was in elected office in Georgia, and I can make a true confession. When the, he wrote a column, you went to the paper, you read Bill Shipp first, and there was a reason for that. If you were going to be the victim of the day, you might as well go out and find out what he was going to say about you. But if you weren't the victim of the day, you could relish in seeing some other politician being skewered by that pen. Bill Shipp had a profound effect on journalism in our state. For years, he reported for the Atlanta Journal and Constitution, but after a number of years, he started his own publication whose title was Bill Shipp's Georgia. Never has there been a more appropriate name for a newsletter, because in many ways, Georgia's politics was Bill Shipp's possessive. Bill Shipp wrote about politics in such a way that he changed politics in the South. While I would never accuse Bill of having editorialized in a news article, the tone and tenor of the direction of Bill Shipp's perception of what was right and wrong could help to lead debates to a positive conclusion in an otherwise period of discourse and trouble. I love Bill Shipp for many reasons. One, because he and I have had the pleasure of living in the same county for the last uh, 40 years. The other is I've learned a lot from him and always appreciated him. See, in politics in Georgia, Bill Shipp is the equivalent of Helen Thomas at a presidential press conference. When a Georgia politician has a press conference, Bill Shipp's there. And when it's time, time for questions, and when it comes time to roll the grenade in the middle of the room and blow things up, Bill Shipp could do it. He did it to me. He did it to others. Bill Shipp's a gifted friend and a man who I wish the best in his retirement. I think finally of those days on Ivy Grove and Cherokee Road in Marietta, where he and Tom Watson Brown and George Berry would sit at five in the afternoon, have a libation, and discuss the day, uh, next day's column that Bill would write. Bill Shipp, Shipp is a treasured asset of our state, a man who's contributed greatly to the growth of the New South and the New Georgia, a man whose contributions to journalism are preeminent in our state and a friend to whom I wish the very best in his retirement. And I yield back.